What is up, world? So, I haven't given everybody an update in a while, and the reason for that, uh, they've added more rules, they extended, now we are here until the 15th, so basically a little over two weeks have been added. Um, the cases, you know, they've been kind of, I, you know, I, right, here's a little chart of them, of uh, the cases added per day. We're not really testing enough to 100% know uh, if we're getting better or not. So, um, yeah, that's one thing that was added. The biggest thing was is in Pasig City, the city that we're staying in, um, we can only get go shop for food on Mondays and Thursdays. So here's a little cutout of uh, the Barong guys and who's allowed to go on what days. So the first day they were kind of implementing it was a test day. Me and my fiance go, no issues, we have all the proper passes, they let us both go, perfect, awesome. So the second time was the hard, like, you know, rollout. Uh, we go downstairs, we're getting ready to leave, they're like, where are you both going? Uh, we're like, to go buy groceries, it's our day, and they're like, only one of you can go. So. All the special passes we have, not all of them are in my name, so I had to have my fiance write a letter saying I could use these passes, valid passes. So here's all the identification that you have to have just to go, and a plus a, a letter. So because I was like, there's no way she can carry all that. I mean, she's 4'11", she's going to carry a week's worth of groceries, uh, you know, on like a 30-minute walk. Like, come on. So... I walk there, of course there's a long line, but not everybody's allowed to go in and it was super awkward for me to be in the line and people get turned away. Like here's a quick video. So here is a clip, they're talking to a guy, he's trying to explain to him he does live in the right Barong guy, but I just don't think he has all the passes. So they're kind of trying to show him that. I kind of turn away so I don't cause too much attention. So yeah, so they basically wouldn't let that guy uh, shop. He didn't have all his identification. And then there was a lady they turned away. I don't know if she was in the wrong barong guy or what, but she's like, hey, like, how am I going to eat? So it was super awkward. And then when I get through the long line, there's not actually a lot of people in the stores because not everyone has the right identification. So it's like me and a bunch of like older wealthy people kind of shopping through the store, which is like super, super awkward. Um, I feel really bad, but like I don't want to do too much to cause too much attention to myself. Um, you know, like here, here, let me show you. Like this is me in the store. So inside the store is just about empty, um, which is really interesting because um, a lot, a lot of people have their passes. I'm not going to record too much so I don't get in trouble. But uh, wish me luck. So yeah, so I'm in the store, hardly no one in there. So I'm going to go to the store again today. Uh, I'm going to record some clips and talk a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, wish me uh, luck. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, here we go. <sighs> the journey. Make sure I'm all stretched. Uh, Carry all the bags. <laughs> Walking up to the line. We're checking IDs. Nothing like having an AR pointed at you. You'd think they would let you buy the toilet paper before they do that. Got swat out. All right, so after you get through the long line, which isn't as bad as it was before, you know, shopping's pretty standard. And I did say it does cut down on the amount of people, so I understand why they do it. Um, they do it, you know, so people from different barangays aren't all, you know, coming at once and, you know, mixing with these long lines, everyone shopping at once, it kind of limits, you know, who can come to cross-contaminate. I totally get it, and I think it's effective um, in that sense. I do feel bad, though, for the people that don't have all the proper identification and can't, you know, get into the stores. It's very, very um, 
disheartening to see that happen. And I, I don't know if it's anyone's particular fault. I don't think anyone wants to see anyone not get food, but you know, I understand why they did it, but I also see the problem with it. So it's very interesting. Uh, and one thing I did have to get before I went back home is I had to get some dooski, you know, for the for the walk back home. So let me uh, jump back to the big camera and exit out. All right, so that always, I'm always super tired. I mean, lifting all that, carrying it for like 25, 30 minutes, tires you out. It's usually a big ordeal every time I go, but what's everyone's thoughts? I mean, I know why they put more rules in place because they want to keep people safe, but I think sometimes when you have too many rules, it kind of isolates people. Um, I see this happen all over the world. I'd like to know, uh, put some, you know, uh, put some of your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe, like, share, you know, I'd be really interested to see what other people's thoughts are out there. But um, as some places are opening back up, I hope everyone keeps safe out there in the world and yeah, peace.